Australia. Gee, but I'm glad to see a pal house tricks. What's new? Love thy neighbor. Great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. Hello. Could I speak to Dr. Molyneux, please? Oh, hello, Dr. Molyneux. This is Mrs. Reynolds. Uh, no, the black one. I wondered if you had the results of my pregnancy test back yet. Pardon? They're positive. Are you positive? I'm positive. Oh, could you tell me whether to be a boy or girl? <laughs> oh, not until it's born. Okay, Dr. Molina. Bye. Hello, Bobby. I'm home. Hello, love. Oh. Oh, steady on, steady on. <laughs> what have I done to deserve that? Oh, you'll find out. Come and sit down. But, uh... Come on, sit down. I've got something to tell you. Oh, I love you, Bill Reynolds. Okay, Barbie. What have you bought? I haven't bought anything. Then you've broken something. No. Well, what on earth is it? Well, it's something we've talked about for a very long time. Something we've always wanted. <laughs> you finally decided on a central heating, eh? <laughs> Try again. Oh, come on, give me a clue. Well... We'll soon be using this spare room. Spare? Oh, no. I thought you'd be pleased. Look, I don't want your mother living with us. Uh... <laughs> it's not my mother. I'm going to have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> a baby? Yeah, that's right. As I say over here, I'm in the club. <laughs> <laughs> that's marvelous. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Wait, look, man, shouldn't you be lying down or something? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not having the baby tonight. Yes, but you've got to start taking it easy. Put your feet up. Uh... But look, I've got to cook the dinner. Oh, no, you don't. I cook the dinner, you rest. Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy having this baby. <laughs> Gee, I'm going to be a father. Are you happy, Bill? And what do you think? Mm. Mm? I can't wait to see Eddie Booth's face when he finds out. Will he be jealous? Honey, he'll be terrified. Why? From now on, we blacks outnumber those whites. <laughs> the dirty black devil. What are you talking about? Him, next door, Randy Andy. <laughs> it's typical, isn't it, eh? The trouble with nignogs is they've got no self-control. Eddie, they are married. What's that got to do with it? We're married, aren't we? But I don't put you in the club every year. <laughs> it's only their first. It's a thin end of the wedge, love. You mark my words. Only a question of time before we're overrun. How can we be overrun with one tiny baby? I'll tell you how. Because they're not like us whites. They don't have them in ones. What do they have them in? Litters. <laughs> Yes. She'll have at least half a dozen. Don't be so bloody stupid. <laughs> no need to use swear words, Joan. Well, I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Litters. <laughs> Bill and Barbie are human beings, just like us, you know. They're not a pair of Labradors. <laughs> it's in the blood, love. It's nature's way of preserving the species. What species? The Nignog species. <laughs> you see, Back in their natural habitat, back in the jungle, there are lions, tigers and alligators who go round eating nicknocks. <laughs> do go on, Dr Livingstone. Now then, nature, in her wisdom, sees it right to redress the balance by giving them more kids at a time. Rubbish. It is not rubbish. The trouble is, now that all the nicknocks leave in the jungle, we're being overrun by them. <laughs> Not only that, back in that jungle, all those alligators, lions and tigers are being deprived of their dinner. <laughs> God, you won't be like that about it. I'm trying to have a serious discussion. You could have fooled me. Well, look, you wait, love. 
They'll be sorry. What have you got against having kids? I've got, I've got nothing against having kids. But we're, we're, we're young. We want to enjoy ourselves while we're still young. Babies tie you down. You see, if we had a baby, you wouldn't be able to go out every night. I don't go out every night now. Come to think of it, I don't go out any night. The subject is closed. We're back to that, are we? Oh, never mind all that. Where's my sweet? Get it yourself. Pardon? You heard. You think I've got nothing better to do than fetch and carry for you all day? But it's part of your duty as a wife, isn't it? Marriage is supposed to be an equal partnership. The subject is closed. I suppose it's beneath your dignity. Look, when I say the subject is closed, the subject is closed! <laughs> now, where's my sweet? There! <laughs> and I'm a big juncture! <laughs> That's very nice, isn't it? Yes. You don't care about me? That's the last rice pudding I ever make! <laughs> What's upset you, love? <laughs> you have. You and your rice pudding. Oh, no, look, I, I'm sorry, love. I, I didn't know you took these things to heart. Come here, in here, look. Blow your nose, there's a good girl. But I tell you what, in future, don't you worry, if it upsets you like this, we'll have tin fruit. <laughs> Evening, lads. I'll have half. <laughs> Never get through the door, will you, for God's sake? Dear. What are you having, Arthur? I'll have half. <laughs> it's like a minor bird, isn't he, eh? I'll have half. <laughs> Thought you usually drank pints. Oh, it's pathetic, isn't it? Yeah, listen, it's my shout. Two pints of Thelma Ritter in the usual with Jack O'Cyril. It's half. I wonder if she'll ever get married. Who's that, then? It's Princess Anne. Thought she was going out with that chap in the army. No danger. How do you mean? Well, they've sorted him out, haven't they? Who have? And mum and dad, they put the block on. That's why they sent him abroad. Oh, out of sight, out of mind, eh? That's it. They're trying to see, they're trying to make it very difficult for them. Mm. It's Margaret all over again. <laughs> Hello, did you hear that, Arthur? Yeah. Jacko was actually with us for once. Well, they didn't want her to marry beneath a station. So they sent her to work in West Hartlepool, hoping she'd forget. <laughs> I take it back. God knows where he is now. <laughs> Who are you talking about? My cousin, Margaret. <laughs> she was going out with a window cleaner, Harry Potts. We thought you meant Princess Margaret. No, no, I don't think she were on Harry's round. <laughs> Here's your drinks, Arthur. Here I'll get them, No, no, I'll get them. Put them on my slate, Cyril. I'll get them. Put them on my slate, Cyril. Eddie, I insist. So do I. Oh, make up your mind. Whose slate do I put them on? I'll tell you what, Cyril, we'll compromise. Put them on Jacko's slate. <laughs> hey, I haven't got a slate. You have now, son. <laughs> now then, where were we? Princess Anne. Oh. I wonder if she'll marry a commoner. Yes, it's very likely. Mm. I think she's lovely. But why do you wait for a leap year, Jacko? She might propose to you. <laughs> you could be lucky. <laughs> hey, Prince Jacko. I can just see him now at Buckingham Palace with his feet under the table. The Queen on one side and Prince Philip on the other, in with his little cap and his little hat saying, I love her. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to go out with a princess. Very dotty, son, very dotty. How do you mean? Well, look, I'm taking Princess Anne to the pictures. Hey, when do you fix that up? <laughs> Tell him after, will you? Look, brain drain. <laughs> and he's only being hypothetical. Oh, yes. I'm only pretending to take Princess Anne to the pictures. Now, do you understand? Yes. I'm not stupid. Good. <laughs> Where are you taking her really, though? <laughs> Taken anywhere. I don't know Princess Anne. I've never met her. I'm only trying to explain to you the difficulties of taking her out. Well, you're not doing it very well, are you? <laughs> I've lost the thread, Arthur. What was I saying? Well, you was taking Princess out of the pictures. Oh, I... If you say another word, I'll ram this point right down your throat. <laughs> For a start, you'd have to take her in the royal box. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, you can't have a crafty snog in the royal box, kid. <laughs> never give that thought. <laughs> <laughs> not all beard and skills, you know, being a royal princess. I bet she's never had pie, chips and mushy peas in her life. Nah, <laughs> different world. Yeah. Mind you, it's not a bad family to get into. The fellow who marries Princess Anne, well, he's cracked it. Cracked what? Everything. <laughs> look at Prince Philip. Now, what was he before he married the Queen? A matalo. Now, look at him now. They've made him Duke of Edinburgh and he's not even bloody Scottish. 
And not only that, instead of being in the Navy, he owns it. <laughs> you got a point there, Eddie. Yes, yes. And then you've got the other fella, Armstrong Jones. I mean, he's come on a ton, hasn't he, eh? From flogging all of his snaps in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> well, I'll say good luck to him. Yeah. I wonder why they didn't make it Putney. <laughs> Pardon? When they made Prince Philip a duke, they might have made him Duke of Putney. <laughs> if all, but it sounds more like a pub. <laughs> uh, hi, fellas. Hello, hi, Bill. Bill. Hey, what are you all having? Hmm? All the drinks are on me. Ooh. What, your premium bunch come up, Bill? Nope. Barbie's pregnant. <laughs> congratulations, you rang the bell! Loud and clear. Oh, congratulations, Bill. <laughs> hey, thank you, Jacko. Hey, what do you want, a boy or a girl? Oh, I haven't thought about that yet. Hey, you could have one of each. Hey, how about that? Eh? Do you mind? Do you mind? It's supposed to be a social club, not a bloody antenatal clinic. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Nothing. I reckon you're jealous, Eddie. Jealous? What have I got to be jealous about? Me. I've just proved my manhood. He has rung the bell, Eddie. So far. <laughs> it's more than you can do. I can ring as many bells as you if I want to, son. <laughs> we only have your word for that. Right. <laughs> Anything a sambo can do, a white man can do, only twice as good. Where are you going? I'm going home to the wife. <laughs> hey! What for? Got a bit of an old ding-dong. Do you like another biscuit, Barbie? Oh, no, thanks, Joan. Tell you what I would like. A mango chutney sandwich. <laughs> You've not started fancying things already. No, but I always like mango chutney sandwiches. <laughs> I'm back, love. <laughs> oh. Hello, Barbie. Uh, fancy you being here. Do you ever get the feeling you're not wanted? All the time. Well, I'd better go home. Uh, don't go on my account, kid. I'll get you coat. Eddie! <laughs> I'm only being polite. That's OK, Eddie. I was going. See you tomorrow, Joan. Bye. Bye. God bless. You're home very early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I thought of you all only in love, and I said, Eddie, your place is with your wife. If you're on the scrounge, I'm broke. <laughs> Pardon? You heard. Life. Come home to be with your love. Has the club run out of beer? <laughs> I'm saying it. You come home to be with your wife and only get her insults. Do you really come home just to be with me? Yes, love. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we can watch a big film on telly. <laughs> Oh, I thought we might have an early night, love. It's only half past seven. I know that, love. Yes. Are you tired? No, 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 no. no. Then why would you want an early night? <laughs> no. <laughs> We might have a little cuddle and uh, start a family. A family? Yeah. That's what marriage is all about, you know, kid. <laughs> I don't understand you, Eddie Booth. It's not half an hour ago since you were telling me that babies tied you down. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. Anyway, it's up to us as members of the white community to make sure we're not overrun by Nick <laughs> Oh, I see. It's anything you can do, I can do better now, is it? Pardon? You and Bill. You don't want a family. It's just a way of getting back at Bill. Well, he was shooting his mouth up in the club. Oh. Go on, Bill. <laughs> no. Go on. Be a sport. <laughs> Very important to me, you know. Be honest. You just want to prove to Bill that you're a man. So show him that photograph I took of you in the swimming pool when you lost your trunks. <laughs> is that all you've got to say? No. There is one other thing. What's that, love? The subject is closed. <laughs> oh. You managed to get up, then? Eh, uh, what's wrong with me having a little extra line on a Saturday morning, eh? Well, if it laid much longer, it would have been afternoon. Hey, forget the wisecrack. Did you get the liquid paraffin? Oh, yes. Good! <laughs> what are you doing? 
Some black magic for that white honky next door. What is it? Bill Reynolds special. Cascara, prune juice, and liquid paraffin. <laughs> Sounds revolting. Oh, yes, it is revolting. <laughs> Guaranteed to make him get up and go. <laughs> and never come back. Right on. <laughs> Eddie Booth, you are going to enjoy this. How are you going to get him to drink it? Psychology, Bobby. By the time I finish with him, he'll practically be begging me to let him have it. <laughs> oh. Hey. Our congratulations in order. Pardon? Well, last night, you and Joan, did you, uh... No, we didn't. Oh. You better off staying here with you, kid. Well, I didn't stay here. I went after you, gone. I went to pictures. Oh, I. What did you see? Erotic intimacy. <laughs> it's a bit torrid for you, isn't it, Jacko? Ooh, it was. My fruit and nut melted in my hand. <laughs> you know, Jacko, I'm surprised at you going to see a film like that. Oh, I didn't go to see that. It just happened to be second feature. Oh, I see. What was the big picture? Confessions of a Swedish old bear. <laughs> Does Lord Longford know about you? Hey, it were all about this Swedish old bear. <laughs> she didn't half have a pair, too. <laughs> all right, Jacko. Remember your Methodist upbringing? Hey, hey there were this here scene where well, the lady of the house went away and there were only her husband and this old pair left in the house together. And she just had a bath, and she was in the bedroom, barefoot, right up to the neck. And the husband burst in, and he threw her on the bed. Get over. What happened then? I dropped my ice lolly. <laughs> the time I found it and got up again, his wife had come back home again. I'm going again tomorrow. Well, this time, don't have an ice lolly. Mm. Hey, where's Arthur? Oh, he's just running in for me, kid. Oh, you sent him out for some chips? No, I've not sent him out for some chips. He's gone to get me an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Have you got a headache? <laughs> well, Jacko, you've, uh, You've heard of Spanish fly, haven't you? No. Well, you see, there's this fly in Spain, and they catch it, and dry it, and crush it, and then they swallow it. Oi! Well, it gets you going. I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> oh, no, it gets you at it, you know. <clears throat> Oh, you mean it's a sort of love potion? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Hey, you fruity monkey. <laughs> That's your Sambom as virile as he is. The big black twit. <laughs> oh, Bill, and you were just talking about you. Yes, yeah, so I heard. Well, it serves you right for listening into other people's conversations. Any sign of a family yet? <laughs> you mind your own business. Uh, I don't think you know how to go about it, you know. Now, just watch it, Sambo. Otherwise, I'll put your big black head in that pocket over there. All right, all right, all right, all right. I just thought I might be able to help you get your Joan pregnant. Dirty devil. <laughs> you keep your eyes off my wife. Well, I've heard of love thy neighbour, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> look, 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 brother man. All I'm offering you is a love potion. A love potion? Yeah, yeah. It's an old West Indian secret recipe. You take one drink of this and believe you me, no woman will be able to resist you. I don't need your jungle juice of make birds fancy me. I'm a hot-blooded, virile, white Englishman. And besides, Arthur's just gone to get him a Spanish fly. <laughs> but, no, look, look, uh, look, 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 Eddie, man, look. This is better than Spanish fly. It's got thousands and thousands of years of, of black magic behind it. Oh, I Well, I prefer a bit of white magic. Oh, blimey, what a performance! What were the weather like? <laughs> what weather? In Spain, wasn't it sunny? <laughs> well, Jacko, just because Arthur's gone for Spanish fly doesn't mean he's gone to Spain for it. What half a pound of sprout? You don't go to Brussels, do you? <laughs> I didn't know. Give it a sec, come on. No, I'm sorry, Eddie. It's been a very bad year in Spain for flies. Oh, <laughs> just my luck, isn't it? Hey, would an English blue bottle do? <laughs> You can belt up the start. Yeah, I'm going to get me shot with pint in. Full back. Eight and a half for me. Well, Eddie, you want to try some of my Afro aphrodisiac? You know what you can do with it? You can stuff it. I I'll tell you what. I'll leave it here in case you change your mind, eh? <coughs> get back of the marmalade jar. <laughs> 
West Indian lightning love mixture. Oh. <laughs> One teaspoonful will transform you into an object of sensuous desire to the opposite sex. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Joan, is it beginning to show yet? Give it a chance, you only just found out. <laughs> oh, Ben wants a boy, but I want a girl, really. Yeah, well, it stands a good chance of being one or the other. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me, it's now all official. Look, Mrs. Barbie Reynolds, positive. Snap. Snap? Mrs. Joan Booth, positive. When did this happen? Well, I don't remember the exact night. <laughs> I think it was when Tommy Doherty took over Manchester United. You know <laughs> no, love. I mean, when did you find out? About the same time as you. Oh, congratulations, Joan. Thanks. Isn't it marvellous us both being pregnant together? Great. I bet Eddie's pleased. He doesn't know yet. You haven't told him? I'm frightened too. Eddie doesn't want a family. I'm sure you're wrong, Joan. I'm not. He said so. Babies tie you down. Well, Bill told me that Eddie wanted to get you pregnant. Only to satisfy his stupid pride and prove his manhood. Well, you'd have to tell him sometime. Perhaps I could send him a postcard from the maternity. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie may say he doesn't want kids, but I bet when you tell him he'll be pleased. Do you really think so? Oh, I'm sure of it. Right, I'll tell him. Okay. Hi, Joe. Where's Eddie? Search me. Wasn't he at the club? He was, but Cyril said he left hours ago. Isn't that typical? Just when I've made up my mind to tell him, he vanishes. Do you think anything's happened to him? If it hasn't, it will when he gets home. <laughs> I'm back, love. <laughs> Where you been? I've been looking all over the place for you. I've been out with a friend. Have you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I brought him home. He's outside in the hall. Eddie? Yes, love. John's got something very important to tell you. Oh, I? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll bring my mate in. He can tell us both together. <laughs> I'm wasting my time expecting him to be interested in us having a baby. Oh. Hey, hello? <laughs> what about that? Or oh, our baby. How'd you find out? Well, uh, met old Dr. Molyneux on the way back from the club. You, you don't mind? I think it's marvellous, love. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Eddie. Thank you, Billy Boy. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased for you, Eddie. And you, what about you? Hey, give us a kiss on Friday. Uh, uh, steady on, steady on. <laughs> hey, I brought some of you as well. I'll never forget anybody, me, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big fella. <laughs> hey, I'm about that. I've got it for you. Not about that, fella. My God, eh? Come here, now. Cassius Clay. Okay, Clare. all right, all right, all right, Eddie. You've had your fun. You've had your fun. Can I have the bottle back, please? What bottle? He means the fake love potion. Fake? Yeah, yeah, I was only playing a joke on you. What? You mean to say it wasn't West Indian lightning love mixture? Ah, it was more of a West Indian lightning jollop mixture. Pardon? A combination of cascara, prune juice, and liquid paraffin. Oh, dear Lord. Eddie, you didn't drink a spoonful, did you? No, love. I drank the whole bottle. <laughs> Thank you.